It is um, Saturday morning, the uh, 13th of um, September, and I am standing here at Lawnsdale Park, um, and it's kind of dark because it is 2.38, 2.40 in the morning, and um, I'm at the corner of Salmon, Southwest Salmon, and Southwest 4th Avenue. Right here it is, right there. That's a see the car. That's the taxi. That's going down fourth, and uh, City Coffee, which is right there. That's this street right here. That's Salmon, and here is the park. You can't really see it. It's pitch black here. There's a string of um, right there. There's a string of. Uh, um, uh, of benches, and right here there's another string of benches, beginning with this one where I was asleep at, and um, all the way through, and that's a, like a, a monument. Right here it says uh, Lawndale Park, Lawndale Square, Lawndale. Lawnsdale Square, and I was asleep right here um, at the park and uh, sexually assaulted I don't know how many times. My genital is in pain, my scrotum is in pain, and um, it's probably Gabriel Franklin. Um, Gabriel Franklin, um, I was told by Melissa, Melinda that Lisa Cross was involved. Uh, Melinda, Melinda says that it's Gabriel Franklin, Lisa Gross, um, uh, Lucky, who else is involved? Um, Felicia, um, the African American woman who is both representing, um, by, by the way, Lisa Gross is a representation of Gustavo Pidal from the College Department. And, um, her face structure, she looks like, um, like Gustavo. Um, every single one of the women that are involved, Felicia, she's a representative of um, the Haitians on the Haitian side, both my mother and, um, oh, what is her name, and, 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 and Sandra Duplon. That's who Felicia represents. And um, basically, what they're doing is um, they're raping the heck out of me, uh, using me um, against my will, uh, using me repeatedly. I don't know how many times during the course of a night they come and they use. Um, last night I was here at, um, hold on a second here. Here's the, uh, we're on our way right now to the men's room and, um, I left behind my backpack there. Um, it's pitch black, so you can't really see me. But here's the bathroom. I'll probably do this again in the daytime. But here's the bathroom right here. Yeah, this is the men's restroom. And this is the rest of the park. Um, and I was right over there uh, sleeping. And um, it says right here, Women's restroom, one block south. See, that's the sign that says uh, that's the sign that says that women's restroom is one block south, and the women refuse to go south, so they come in here into the men's into the men's room, right? They come in here into the men's room. I usually use this stall here, right? They come and they use this, this stall and this stall. I'm sitting here in the front stall. They use this one and then they use this one. Um, last night they came in here and uh, they used the stall while I was sitting on the first stall. They do this several times during the course of the week. 
and um, last night one of the women came in here, um, and uh, she asked me, so what are you reading? And I said, the Bible. And the guy that she came with, because there are like three or four of them, the guy that she came with, um, you know, just apologized. But his face was the face of a, a former roommate that I had. Uh, his name was Alan Paul. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the gay community is communicating or why they took on this position. But, you know, I don't want to be liable for anything that happens to these white women um, I have been sexually assaulted this has been the epitome of what has held me back um, I'm not exactly sure how many more times or how long I can hold this thing in for before I explode on someone um, this is really interesting but here is um, there's a, a either a medical or police department vehicle coming down here um, looks like an ambulance but uh, yeah an ambulance but right behind me looks like there's uh, four white ve vehicles um, right there there's one there's one there's the other and that's the third and I guess that's the clan and right on top of the third one got this one here but right on top of the third one, it looks like a casket, right? It looks like a casket, and it says um, the license plate number is 027FNV, so it's uh, um, 027 would be 27. It would have been Gabriel Franklin Sag, no version, and uh, right there is, um, I'm not exactly sure that the, it looks like a casket, but it's probably what you put skis in and, and other things. But the the overall message is death. And um, this right here is uh, third and um, and salmon. So I wanted to let you guys know um, this is what I deal with every every night, every single night, except for I don't usually put it in video. Um, I don't have a phone number. I've been out here for weeks. Um, yesterday I went to. Um, Social Security to get a copy of my Social Security card because I had my card had been taken, um, and uh, they didn't give me the cop. They didn't allow me to get the Social Security card and to replace it. Um, the guy that the guy that was behind the counter was a, an exact replica of uh, Rick McLean, the uh, pastor of Imago Day. Um, I saw another, uh, I saw, I had seen him previously, um, an exact replica of him, not of Rick, but the guy that was working at Social Security, um, across the river, um, in another, uh, you know, homeless facility where I was getting my, um, mail, and they wouldn't give me my driver's license, and so he used the Washington State driver's licenses, um, as an excuse for not giving me the uh, social security card, for not replacing it. Um, I was told that my birth certificate was removed out of, my, out of the storage and so was my passport. Um, what else? The, um, I lost the uh, doctors that I had at the uh, Multnomah Clinic, um, the Nowden and um, the, um, and also the uh, social worker. Uh, Emily Bork. Um, they had sexually assaulted me three times at the uh, Multnomah Clinic, and so instead of dealing with the, the sexual assault and the crime, they told me to get going, you know, not get out of here, don't come back, and use our services again. So this is basically what's going on in Portland, Oregon, is little by little I'm losing everything. Um, you know, uh, they told me that I'll never make any money as an author because what they're doing is they're taking um, they're taking the, the money and they're doing something. Um, I just sent them a fourth manuscript, um, Holy Fire Publishing, and I've had to send it twice. And um, I think they've altered the manuscript several times. Um, uh, they're they're monitoring my conversation with the publisher, so they'll go in there and in, into the website and they'll take out 
the publisher's response to, you know, if I, if I send her an email and a copy of the manuscript, whatever her first response is, um, they'll take it, MacArthur and Franklin, they'll take the first response, and then I'll have to send her back a response saying, did you respond at all? And then she'll say, you know, less than maybe even a sentence. Uh, yeah, I responded. Um, and I have a feeling that they have control over her computers. I have a feeling that MacArthur has control over her company. Um, and I have a feeling that MacArthur has control over her life. You know, I don't know why I'm, I feel that way, but I sort of feel like that's what he's doing. And MacArthur's not a Christian. He's a Klansman. And he's out. And so, and he's not, by, and he's not out by himself. He's out with Barack, and he's out with, um, with the Klan and the gay community. So this is, this is, this is an ongoing thing with, with John and, and, um, and these homosexuals from Cal State University, Northridge. Um, they're in the background, and they're watching and they're holding me back, and they're making sure that I don't get through. Um, and, and um, there's so much more to be said, but it's not even worth it, but this is what's going on right now. Anyway, um, it's probably about 3 in the morning, and I don't know how much more uh, is going to take place uh, between now and uh, 6 a.m. So, um, we're going to come back and take some photographs of the places where I've been assaulted and probably redo this video, but we'll see you then.